Palisades Tahoe with 8 inches, 10 at Sugar Bowl, anywhere from 8 to 10 inches across most of the resorts with Dodge Ridge at 6. But take a look at the season totals. We've been ranging anywhere from about 300 to about 445 inches reported on the Sugar Bowl website there. 327 Sierra Snow Lab, 323. So it looks like mostly around the 325 to 335 range seems appropriate for a lot of the places where they're seeing pretty similar number, numbers there in season snowfall totals. But remember, we did get a lot of blowing snow as well, so that could contribute to some of the higher totals at some resorts. The next storm system is on the way with moderate rain and snow, so we're going to see something decent coming through for us, which means we'll get anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain from the valley toward the foothills, and then snowfall could see as much as one to two feet even. And then the heat up is on next week, so if you're waiting for some of those warmer temperatures, it's coming. And the big mountain backyard temperatures in the upper 50s for Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto, low 60s with some sunshine, 57 in Marysville, Tahoe at 35 degrees now. The low pressure system that delivered that rain and snow to us is shifting to the northeast there, but we are looking at that low pressure system just set to arrive. It is waiting there and the clouds roll into the overnight early morning hours becoming mostly cloudy tomorrow, but by early afternoon we could see our first look at some sprinkles turning to showers after 3 p.m. in the valley and then snow showers could move in a lot earlier closer to about mid morning hours, but right now we're seeing mostly cloudy skies. Winter storm warning will be in effect around the Sierra and all the way up through the Tahoe Basin. Last time it was just the winter weather advisory around the Tahoe Basin, but now extended all the way up and over until at least Sunday, 5 p.m., starting off at 11 a.m. on Friday with 1 to 2 feet of snow. Up to 30 inches, though, are possible at the peaks. And we'll see winter weather advisory with 8 to 16 inches potentially of snowfall and intermittent daytime rain and snow mix is also possible. So keep that in mind as snow falls. We could also see it begin washed out by some of that rain. Winter storm could bring in as much as about a foot to a foot and a half from Lassen to Donner. Echo about a foot. Carson Ebbets could see 24 to 30 inches with about a foot to two feet there for Sonora. Mostly cloudy skies, but then finally around 10 a.m. you see it moving on shore. By lunchtime early afternoon you start to see its first look into the Sacramento Valley. And then finally from Arnold, Sonora into Murphy's there. We're going to look at some more of that Heavy rain into the evening and overnight hours with snow piling up in the Sierra Friday night into Saturday morning. But most of our Saturday, we actually see it moving pretty quickly out of the area, bringing us just scattered showers and maybe some thunderstorm chances. But the winds will play a part in your day Friday. Check this out. 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts possible and then into the evening hours as well. Overnight Saturday, we do slow down just a bit. For your Easter Sunday, a lot of people are ready to bite off those ears, right? We are looking at mostly sunny skies, at least for the afternoon hours, about 64 degrees for the high. And those foothill spots, you're going to be seeing 46, 49 degrees. Angels camp at 48 for your daytime high. And the 10-day forecast for us, well, we'll drop temperature just a bit. We'll be upper 50s, low 60s. But next week, you are looking at mid to low 70s. California weather is a land of extremes. From dangerous heat, droughts, and wildfire. To severe storms, flooding, and mountains of snow. Plus, the occasional tornado. Keeping you prepared takes a team. We have decades of experience forecasting this diverse region. Our job doesn't stop at the forecast. We investigate what's happening to our climate so you can be ready. Helping you prepare for today and stay safe tomorrow. With a weather team you can trust only on ABC 10. Hi, I'm Alex Bell. Join me weeknights at 630 on To The Point. Instead of just reporting on the problems, we cut through the noise and look for solutions. We're not afraid to investigate local stories. We're not afraid to include different perspectives. We're not afraid to hold those in power accountable. This is your community and it's my community too. And we're here to make it better for everyone. Join me, Alex Bell, on To The Point, weeknights at 630, only on ABC 10.